So, Kalas Fractala is a program for exploring fractals. Um, the new version 2.15 is just released. You, know, you can have the Mandelbrot set, but most, one of the new features in the new version is hybrid formulas. So it's got a quite a complicated dialogue. On the right, top right of each group is a number of repeats. So if you increase that beyond one and add more groups, and you get hybrids so you need to activate each line in the group by ticking the box on the right and here I'm making it into burning ship iteration so the first one is two iterations of Mandelbrot set and then one iteration of burning ship and now another iteration of Mandelbrot you have to click the box on the right otherwise it doesn't work so now we've got this hybrid fractal that's looks a bit like a combination of Mandelbrot and Burning Ship. So one area I found earlier was um, a nice place in the bottom right here. So you can zoom in quite fluidly and the image gets refined after many references if the first references have issues. So what I'm doing is I'm looking for places of rotational symmetry which indicates there's a mini set in between. So here's a two-way rotational symmetry and there's some period doubling up to four-way symmetry and eight-way symmetry and there you can see the mini set in the middle. It looks like a tricorn Mandelbar style mini, mini set. So you can use a control D activates and using zooming and you can zoom in directly to the mini set centered on the view and press page up to zoom in centered on the same point. So now, now that's quite centered on the mini set. So now we can change the window size to a wide aspect ratio. About 9 to 1 is good for this. So you need to set the image size to the same size, otherwise it's stretched. That's better. And now I'm going to activate exponential map, which makes it unwrapped in a strip around a circle around the center. So then you can zoom in a bit more, pre pressing page up to zoom in. And we're going to zoom in just far enough so that the bottom edge is all a single color. So the bottom edge is all black now. That means that if we zoom in that far and that the bottom edge is all black, then it will wrap around a circle and it will be filled with black. So that's a good way to end the video that we're going to render. So now with a bigger image size for high resolution, it will take quite a lot longer to render. But the third new feature that I'm going to mention in this version of Callus Fractal that's just been released 2.15 is OpenCL support which allows you to use a graphics card for acceleration. So that's my graphics card, GFX something. And then you can see the time at the bottom is a lot shorter. Yeah. And that the first time you run it includes the time taken to compile the formula. So the second time you run it, pressing F5 to rerun it. It's a lot quicker. So now we're going to render a sequence of zoom out images. So we can disable all the channels we don't need because the color preset I'm going to use in the second half of the video is uh, just using distance estimates. So now we disable the channels that we don't need to save, save time and storage space and saving. So most of this you just need to enable EXR support for saving. Select the directory, which I made earlier. And now I'm going to speed this up a hundred times because it's a bit boring to wait for 15 minutes or so while it renders the zoom out sequence. You can see the clock there, 13 minutes something. So when it reaches 0.0, .0 zoom, then it's finished. So now we've got these 42 files of EXR files, images with distance estimate data. 
but they're quite big so we're going to make a smaller copy for interactive use in the zoom assembler which is the second half of the video so this EXR subsample tool makes a smaller version of each image so we're using bash, bash script to make a for loop to loop over the files and run the subsampling for each one I'm going to speed this up a bit because it's another couple of minutes of time of converting files it would be a bit boring to watch so it took about less than two minutes to subsample all of those so now we can start the zoom assembler these flags are just for a slight bug in the or annoyance in the zoom assembler but so you give it the directory we give it the small directory first and then you select the input select the color shader so there's a few presets that come with zoom assem and then you can select this time of the soundtrack so I'll just select a minute of silence for for demonstration purposes so you've got a slider where you can navigate through the time let's say we want to go to five seconds and at five seconds we want to be zoomed in reasonably far so we can zoom yeah five seconds we'll have a nice view of the whole set and then we'll create another keyframe at 10 seconds so we create another keyframe with the plus button and then we can set that to about the same zoom level so it zooms in to that level and then stays around that level for a while about five seconds and we'll set that to linear to avoid any weird artifacts from cubic interpolation we just want a straight straight zoom at that point and then we'll, for the end we'll uh, 55 seconds we want it to be near the finish yeah that's a nice frame and then we'll set one up do the same as we did at the start have a slow zoom sequence and have a, another keyframe at 50 seconds and set that to be roughly the same as the 55 seconds and make it so it pauses towards the end as well so you can see this I didn't get the monotone cubic interpolation right, it's not monotone, so I use linear for these pauses because you could see it was zooming out a bit and that should not have happened if it was truly monotone. But here it is a quick glance with the zoom, we'll make it really fast at the end for dramatic effect. So scrolling through it seems, uh, seems okay. Now we need to set the output. Well, first we'll set the resolution a bit higher. 640 by 360 is fine for previews, but we've got high resolution keyframes, so we can. I'll set it to 60 frames per second as well for a bit more smoothness. And increase the number of samples per pixel. Yeah, that reduces the sparkling effect that you might have noticed when you're scrolling through it. So more, more samples, more quality, and we want high quality videos. Uh, just, just to make sure it doesn't crash. In case it crashes, we can save the session and resume it later. Or even if you just want to resume it later on another time. Uh, well, save it again after changing that. So it's all ready to go. Now we'll switch it out to the high quality um, high quality keyframes, bigger keyframes and it, you should be able to see that the frame rate has dropped quite a bit and we can now, now we can set the output video just, I'll just put it in MKV just for convenience
and then we can just record it. I've sped this up a hundred times as well because waiting to watch a video render that takes about 12 minutes is not exactly the most thrilling thing. So this is faster than real time. And that's all done. So now we can quit Zoom Sim. See how big the video is. And now we can play it. So there you have it, a quick demo of the new features in Calus Rectala. Hybrid formulas, exponential map, and OpenCL for faster rendering.